conduct exploratory effect analysis in R. This is my R Studio. R Studio has four windows or four components. The first one is this one. So this is this part is for script writing, and second one is called the console. Console is this one. So it shows the data uh, output. And uh, third one is this one. So this one contains the list of the data and variables also. And uh, then another one is the fourth one is uh, contains the list of the files and a list of the packages and also used for the help and it's also um, a, a section which contains the graphs and the plot which you produce and step number one uh, we need to upload the data so here is the command data one i'm giving it uh, name to my data set so since my data file is in csv format so that's why i write read.csv so i simply run this command so it will help me in finding out the uh, data. My data is here in the R folder I uploaded. Just to see whether it has been appropriately uploaded or not. So I write head into data one. Data one. Run it. So here names of the variables will appear at the top and the data will appear at the bottom. It's sum. So then in step number three, we need to determine the number of factors which would be sufficient for factor analysis. I write data one dot PCA. So the command I gave print com into data one. I simply run it. Right, since there's no error, so that means it has been successfully run. So I need to now reduce the output. So summary into data one dot pc. So then this name should be exactly this one. So run it. So here is the output. So you have to see how many factors they are extracting the maximum part of the variance. So the first one is accounting for 36 percent. Second one 14.4 percent. Third one 7.39 percent. Fourth one 6.77 percent and then it continues to decline. So it appears that the first four are contributing the biggest part of the variance. So now I just need to reconfirm it through creating a plot, plot into data1.pca. So simply run it. Yes, it shows that the first four components, they are uh, accounting for the biggest share in the variance. Now I need to run the factor analysis. Simply write data one dot fa. So this will be name of the output. Then factor n into data one. So the factors I am writing here four. So you can uh, write three or five also. So depending upon the uh, number of uh, factors which you think are sufficient. Rotation is very max. Simply run it. So then I run the output. So this down. So here you see the first five factors they are loading on the factor one, and uh, then next four they are loading on factor three, and then next three are loading on factor four, and the last four they are loading on factor two. These are in accordance with our theory also. So last point you have to see the p-value. So p-value ideally should be non-significant. If it's non-significant then the uh, hypothesis that the number of factors they are sufficient. So in our case it is highly significant that means number of factors are not sufficient. But when sample size is greater than 200 I mean the data set comprises the cases of more than 200 then it is usually significant. That's why you can ignore this fact. Thank you so much.